Well, we looked at the ISTE standards and the very first one jumped right out at us, empowered learners. So we gave students a complete open choice to use high tech, low tech, or no tech. We had to read a few little books and uh, from those books derived their craft. At assignments that I get open choice for always helped me learn better and inspired more creativity. And I think it's been a big epiphany for me this year that I, as the teacher, don't need to be the expert on every piece of technology that I use in the classroom. I told my story through a series of letters, emails, and um, postcards. Here I used a fake text generator and um, the, the rest of them I did by hand. So this board I use Makey Makey. Um, if you tap on a square, it'll bring up information of what I wrote about my interpre interpretation of your story. Then realize that that might not be the best way to present their understanding, and so they change. And that's exactly what we want from them as empowered learners. We want them to be able to evaluate their own process. At first, I was going to do VR, but then I realized that it didn't really match my author's style, so then I changed it to animation. But then that didn't really match, so then I um, went for a video, but that didn't work, so then, um, I chose to do a part We're able to express all of the brilliant ideas that they have in their minds that they're usually unable to do in writing or in speaking. It showed a depth of thinking that I think a lot of teachers wouldn't expect to see from those particular students. Uh, we had a couple of students use the VR headset, so I was really impressed and inspired by the students. That took a lot of initiative on their part, and it was really incredible to see the work that they came up with. We, we were trained not to go into a classroom unless you were an expert in everything you did. And, and so that's a, a, a complete shift in, in my thinking and I, it gives me more confidence to walk into a classroom not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> it just grew so organically out of a conversation. I think it represents the best of what happens when teachers collaborate because we didn't have to force technology. Technology lent itself very easily to this assignment.